Oh, what's up guys, it's the Fortnite once again, and today I'm going to talk to you about a problem, an issue that some of us are facing. I'm here with my Vauxhall Cascada or Open Cascada in Europe or Greek Excel, I think it's called in the US. It's a convertible, it's a cabriolet, it's a really nice car to enjoy during the summer when the sun is out and a nice temperature but the biggest issue while driving a convertible is that you are not allowed to enjoy proper sound when you are playing music let me play one of my tunes so you can see how it sounds like See how this one sounds like. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. So no bass whatsoever, it's just a tiny little bit, which is almost nothing. But that is about to get fixed. Let's make that the install. This baby's here. So we're gonna feed this in phase USW 300 under the seats and see the difference. Now we will have to run the main positive wire to the battery which is located in front of the car. To be able to do that we're gonna go through a grommet in the firewall which is located behind the glove box. So we're gonna unscrew these screws and remove this baby. I've seen some of the tutorials who are saying to remove the seats. I don't think I'm going to remove them, but I don't think I will be able to do that. Because I can only see two screws here at the back and nothing up front. I don't want to mess with them. Past that, I think I can work around. This plastic trim can be used to route the wires through those channels, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to route them through the middle console the grommet right there yeah and there is the grommet right there we will have to try and route two more cables through the same hole let's see i can set this wired cable through the grommet on the other side it through here and now we can hook these two cable ends of this one and we're gonna pull it through the grommet back now that we managed to pull this babies through it's time to do the next step which is run these wires all the way underneath the seats and on the other side connect it with the battery positive now we have to connect this power supply to the battery positive but because i can't remove this and this is the only place where this one fits i will try to connect it here but it doesn't fit because this one is now wide enough so i'm gonna replace this one with larger ones that will fit anywhere so to do this we have the existing wire we're gonna peel this bit here and we're gonna cut right at the end twist on this 
Uh, there we go. Now we have to peel. And here you have it. Ta da! And we're gonna take the red ring. We're gonna remove this plastic bit. We're gonna use this heating tube and we're gonna wire it here. Going through this little loop here. And we're gonna force press it. One and the other one on top. And it's not going anywhere. Let's check on the other one too. This one is not going anywhere either. And now let's hit these tubes. The same for the second one. Happy days! And now we're gonna connect it to this 13 mm socket. Yeah, it works like a charm. And now we're gonna connect these fused wires. We're gonna root them nicely. Now that we've connected the power cables to the battery, I have to cut a little hole through this side lid here to accommodate the cables. And it's all good. I have access to the fuses here, in case I want to check them. Cables go behind the tank and all the way through the garment and inside the car. So let's go on the other side and come. Now it's time to remove half of the dash to get access behind the infotainment unit to connect the auxiliary cable. Here I have two screws, one on that side and one on this other side. Now this is clamped, so it has several clamps, which is going to be held, but before that... This is the bit that comes with the Android aftermarket unit. And this one goes back there. But first, this one has the subwoofer line out, so I'm gonna try and do something. Because it's a mono exit for subwoofers, but the ones I got are stereo. We're gonna split the signal in mono and stereo. And then we're gonna split it again for left and right. If that's not gonna work, I'm gonna use this front right and left out. With the stereo, I'm gonna split it in two to connect the two. So, try this way. Proper cables, 10 feet from horsepower. All these bits have to be rooted behind the dash. So, we're not gonna run all the cables behind the dashboard, behind the actual glove box. Go underneath the dashboard and we'll get connected here. We're gonna try on this one first because it says line out subwoofer. It's not gonna work, we're gonna go on these two babies for speakers. And to make sure this one stays in place, I'm gonna use some electrical tape. This baby. I only have one trigger wire behind the stereo, the radio unit, and I'm planning to install two separate uh, subwoofers with their own amps. I will have these two cables running from each of these subwoofers connected in one single plug, which will be this one. And I'm gonna connect it to this baby here. You have them, both of them together nicely. And this plug, which is gonna go into this baby here. The trigger wire, what this baby does, it will make sure the power gets cut off for the subwoofers when I remove the keys. And in that manner, battery won't get drained. You can use electrical tape on all of them to make sure. They don't touch anything else. I think that should be the all here behind this thing. Behind the unit. Let's put a couple of screws back on to secure this in position. And now let's start dropping the cables. As I said, I'm gonna run them through the middle console. And then I will take them left and right. 
These two cables will mostly go into the same direction, so I'm gonna use some hmm, heating pit now. I think it's ready to go take tie them together. Removing the seats. I'll tie these two cables together and I'm gonna draw them through this side. That's another airplane. Also, have a negative here. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use the ground point right there on the side of the car. Then I'm gonna roll the cable underneath this trim. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Yep, so run the power cable through this side and then the other one underneath the rear seats. And now we're gonna run the RCA cable under the middle console. For it not to interfere with the power cable. I'll leave plenty of room for this one. If it's a 10 feet cable, so it's more than enough. Let's go wire that negative. So we're gonna wire this one on this side. And as you can see, they're already placed under the seats. There's still some room left. It wasn't much anyway, but you can do with that. So this one's the uh, amplified subwoofers come with some fixing kit. I didn't use them, I just used some Velcro so I can easily remove it when needed. And of course, there are ways of routing that cable underneath the carpet, but I just did not have enough time to do it. All of this one is fixed with Velcro, so not bad. And for the remotes, I've just routed the cables through the middle consoles and behind this bit here. And I've just used some velcro tape to strap them here so I can remove them. You can see. I thought there would be a nice fit having them in here so the passenger can adjust his own base settings and the driver can do the same. And kind of cool. So. Happy days! I've installed both amplified subwoofers under the seats and this is how it sounds like now. I'm gonna play the exact same tracks so you can hear it and I'm gonna start off without bass. Please, Lord, 
So as you can probably hear, hopefully, it does make a massive difference. It's, it's a totally different experience, it's something else. It's way better. I'll post the links down in the description and see you guys later. Different vermin, we all have different burdens that all seem.